when it rains, it pours. And we're not just talking about the forecast at Pocono every year. On top of those penalties that came out from Denny Hamlin and Kyle Busch at Pocono, Michael McDowell's car was taken back to the Research and Development Center. Now, it is protocol that NASCAR will take top five cars and tear them down at the track. They do what they do, but they will also take cars back to the Research and Development Center in Concord, North Carolina, to have further inspection of cars. Usually, these, these are weekly things, and there's nothing that really comes out of them. However, this week, Michael McDowell's number 34 car was taken to the R&D Center. And upon review, NASCAR announced some penalties from Tuesday. McDowell did finish sixth in the Pocono race for his eighth top 10 of the year. But quoting what happened out of the rule book, and this has happened with Brad Keselowski's team as well, the team was pegged with modifications of a single source supplied part. So what part of the car remains to be seen at the time of this podcast coming out? But guys, if Michael McDowell makes the playoffs, he's going to be docked 10 playoff points, and he's been docked 100 driver's points. So he's sitting 26th in points entering the Indianapolis GP race. David, uh, McDowell has had a really good year. Uh, you know, people know, of course, when he won that Daytona 500 last year, but that certainly wasn't a fluke. He had some good runs last year and this year, although he hasn't gotten to victory lane, that team, Front Row Motorsports, has been so good this year, much improved uh, from even where they were last year. With that said, this is a big setback here. I mean, he could still make the playoff, but knowing that if they make the playoff, they're going to be starting from behind uh, with a 10-point deficit there. Well, I mean, you know, I can't wait to hear what it, what it is. And you know, y'all, we we know we talked about it. We know how, you know, NASCAR is with this new next gen car. You know, you can't modify, touch, grind. I mean, you know, so it's kind of interesting to to. I can't wait to hear what it was the team was doing, and what the penalty is going to. You know, what the penalty is and and what it's for. But man, Michael McDowell is such a great guy. And I love it that he won the Daytona 500. And I'm even – I'm so excited for him and his team because they've been really consistent. You know, you hear Michael McDowell's name more often in the top ten. And in this past weekend at Pocono, I mean, to run sixth, I mean, they have really come on strong this year. And I would love to see Michael McDowell's team, Front Row Motorsports, make the playoffs. I think that would be just an awesome story. And, uh, man, I, and I wouldn't be surprised to see him win a race here the next two or three, four weeks from now, you know. And uh, uh, they just – they're a great team. Uh, they're, they're kind of the underdog team, I would say. Uh, but, man, they're, uh, they're, they're, they're – a lot of people are noticing. And, uh, man, their performance on the racetrack every week is really uh, – it's really cool to watch. And, uh, man, like you said – uh, Tyler, after winning the Daytona 500, you know, I heard some rumblings from people. Hey, it's Daytona. He got lucky. And and I'm like, man, no, no, he's a great race car driver. The team prepared a great race car. And uh, and for him to leave Daytona and have some great runs, I loved it. You know what I mean? And I, I would love to see that team win a race, make the playoffs, and continue to have – uh, the year they've been having, you know, and, and and they're so deserving, you know, and and we talk about this week in and week out. That new next gen race car, the you know how competitive everybody is, and I think it's really showing up at Front Row Motorsports. So, Dom, tell me this: uh, we hear all the time um, about playoff points and earning playoff points throughout the season, which are different than regular season points. And, you know, some guys may be outside the playoff, but they've earned playoff points and whatnot. Uh, put this into perspective for us. What does this mean for Michael McDowell to be down 10 playoff points, essentially? What does that mean for him if he were to make the playoff and be down 10 points at, from the start? So at this point in the season, we know that it's probably going to take a win for Michael McDowell to make the playoff. So let's say he gets a win this week in Indianapolis Grand Prix road course. He could very capable. His team is very capable, and it could potentially do that. We've seen him run very well at the road course races. He wins the race, just the race, not even stage wins or anything like that. He would only be down five playoff points because NASCAR awards you five points for every race win that you have. And if you win a stage during the race, you're going to accumulate one more playoff point. So you can earn up to seven like of these playoff points throughout a race, but he's essentially in a deficit when the playoffs start. If he were to make the playoffs, he would be seated as the 16th car. Some of these guys, right, you finish top 10 in points, you get more, 
towards that, that point total, Michael McDowell would be in a big hole in that first round of 16 in the playoffs or for any driver that makes the playoffs and they have that negative 10 points. That's costing yourself great points that you could have picked up from race, race wins. It's just going to make it that much harder to be able to try and advance to the next round of the playoffs. So there's definitely implications that way where you're already an underdog in the playoffs and you're already starting in a hole, however far you make it. Uh, Maggie, uh, what's your thoughts? It seemed like uh, NASCAR wasn't messing around with penalties this weekend. Well, I just think that NASCAR is getting stricter because of, I mean, this next-gen car, but I think specifically the teams are trying to get more creative, and I think that's where JGR got caught, and I think Michael McDowell, I think we saw RFK have the same issue earlier this year, so I think they're trying to get creative where they can, and it's not working. <laughs> no kidding. 